Okay, so beginning our day, and uh, this week has been uh, a sewing week, uh, learning how to hand sew, and uh, and uh, it's a uh, look, it's a really important skill, um, as is many of our um, monastic trainings. Um, it's not uh, just about learning a philosophy or a belief system. Uh, yeah, it's about how you live it, how you implement it. And the, uh, uh, I mean, the sewing is a practical skill, uh, but it isn't isolated uh, because it's it's something that you uh, end up uh, doing together as a group. Uh, and so whether one is on one's own or or with a group, but it's it's a uh, uh, just learning of, learning how to apply uh, a certain attention and mindfulness and patience uh, with what one's doing. Um, <coughs> and and uh, and and having that tangible, uh, connection with like a, an actual physical, visceral connection to what you're doing uh, with a sewing needle uh, that tends to slip and go into your other thumb uh, or uh, that doesn't quite uh, make leave a nice neat line uh, with the uh, with the stitches after you've um, after you're finished, um, that uh, those are, are uh, those are practical skills that require mindfulness, patience, clarity, a continuity of of attention, uh, and and it's you've got. Oftentimes we can sit in meditation and think, "Oh, I've been mindful for an hour," <clears throat> uh, but. You know, in reality, our mind's been all over the place, but there's no evidence of that. Uh, but uh, if your mind has been wandering when you're doing a practical task uh, and something as simple and repetitive as sewing, yeah, then there's there's the evidence of your lack of mindfulness and attention. You know, all the holes in your thumb and the, <laughs> the sort of wandering. Uh, stitches that go all over the place and not, uh, kind of look kind of ragged, um, and, and, and that's so. That's really helpful uh, um, because these are, <clears throat> and it's not one or the other. Uh, you know, so it's it's like these are these are, are are aspects of practice and training that we integrate. Um, um, yeah, this this uh, and, yeah, internal internal and external applications of the Buddha's teachings. And so just uh, recognizing that, that these these various uh, skills of of the uh, of the monastic form and is learning how to how to use them so that there is a an ongoing cultivation of of, uh, of mindfulness, of clarity of of mind, of a kind of a, a steadfastness, um, uh, and, and a relaxing, because it's you know, it's uh, it, it's easy to just want to hunker down and get something done because it's a task that needs to be finished. And you think, and then when I can got that task done, then I'm going to go and practice. When you realize you get up and you're all sort of knotted up and your shoulders are up around your ears, uh, you haven't been very relaxed. And, and so that, that uh, uh, you know, that's the sort of thing that we carry. These habits, uh, we carry them around in our body and our mind and learning how to, to recognize them and see them in there as they manifest in different ways. Right? Ongoing training.